I think I'm gonna butcher this name, but uh, Loxarel. Loxarel Garnacha Bianca. Lo siento. Wine labels. Seven sources of inspiration for your wine labels. Hello, everybody. I'm Stefano from Labelado. If you are a wine producer or a graphic designer looking for inspiration, this is the place. Wine labels remain one of the most printed items by our company. They are also among the most complex and demanding labels that exist. In this video, you will find several inspirations to refer to in order to design your own wine label. So without further ado, let's jump into action. Number one, Sonoma Vineyards. Wine is the drink of luxury and tradition. Elements such as black and gold or hints of nature are always welcome. The Sonoma Vineyards label presents precisely these elements all together. The label is printed on black paper, such as Tintoretto black pepper or every paper new black, with white ink, possibly silk screen, and hot laminated with a warm gold foil. A ducal gold. The tree and the words Sonoma Vineyards are accentuated by the presence of a dry relief that creates three dimensionality in the label, guaranteeing both plays of light and tactile effects. Number two, via Aristoteles. This label is definitely impactful. The barrel selection of Via Aristoteles also features a black paste paper with few elements with a very high added value. The element that stands out in the hot gold seal at the top, which was made with a hot foil and relief at the same time, obtainable with a brass plate with male-female relief. The central line were probably made in debossing by pressing on paper with a debossing plate to create the grooves. The effects can be accentuated by a transparent hot foil to give it a slight degree of shine. Via Aristoteles was printed in opaque white and barrel selection was emphasized by a glossy and thickened braille screen printing. Number three, the alley. This label is a very interesting concept. As you can see from the image, the label represents a man with his gaze turned to the upper part of the typical Italian alleys. This one in particular is an alley that actually exists in Marche, an Italian region, which is considered the narrowest alley in the world. The label is simple but has different complexities in terms of printing. The label is printed on a very porous paper such as Cotton White by Fasson Avery or Cotone Bianco by Federigoni Ritrama Group. The central elements that create the empty space between the two walls of the alley have been removed extracted. The road has been printed in silver hot foil with small micro engravings that correspond to the cobbles of the passage. Il Vicolo and the logo at the top right were printed in debossing, that is, using a stamping plate for the hot foil that was applied cold at very low temperatures or 35-40 degrees centigrade to soften the paper support. Number four, Momentum Wine. But does wine packaging have to be traditional? Apparently not. The Momentum Wine labels go against the role of tradition, seeking a beautiful, artistic and colorful image in the simplicity of a four-color print on uncoated paper. These types of jobs give the best results when printed with UV offset or digitally printed with HP Indigo technology, which allows to obtain vivid and brilliant colors, even on natural and porous papers. Note the capsule, the closure, combined with the shade of the single bottle, a simple box that shows the same texture as the wine label, and that's it. You have a piece of art. Number five, 
Terroir Napa Valley. This label seeks retro style by thread and by sign, an eye-catching landscape illustration printed on natural felt marked paper, the name of which is Cotton Touch. The hot foil, the hot foil has a warm hue such as Kurt's MTS-495. The details in the hot foil frame were not micro-engraved to do a nice job. They were overprinted with an offset or flexible color. To complete the whole, there is a dry relief on the terroir writing. Number six, boundary breaks wine. If there is an important detail to remember when designing a wine label, it is to leave room for paper. Boundary Breaks Vineyard is a label that features just this detail and more. The felt marked natural paper is marked creating topological areas by a debossing that presses on the entire label. The simplicity of the colors, a black and a touch of yellow creates calm and cleanliness. The thickened serigraphy in register of the word boundary breaks rounds the hole and further embellishes the label. Number seven, I think I'm gonna butcher this name, but uh, Loxarel Loxarel Garnacha Bianca Lo Siento. This label was printed on a textured paper that features the texture of orange peel. Panzone orange stands out in the center of the label with a polished black in flat screen printing. But the important detail of this label is the majestic dry relief that names the Garnacha Bianca wine. Beautiful relief. I hope that these examples of wine labels can inspire you in creating your own wine brand or in modernizing it. The world of wine is full of these and other interesting examples of art on the bottle. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about designing, packaging and how to create your products efficiently. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends and colleagues. I'm Stefano and as always, love you all. Ciao!